As far as I know, we were the first to suggest that technology could directly interact with and perhaps adjust the size of the extra dimension. If we could do this, we'd be able to directly tune the magnitude of the dark energy density, in theory, to any desired value. And as a consequence, we could, in theory, tune the dark energy density to create a very specific space-time around a spacecraft. In effect, a warp bubble. This bubble of space-time could be engineered in such a way that would allow the spacecraft to reach arbitrarily high velocities, not constrained by the laws of relativity. A localized recreation of the inflationary period of the early universe. Exciting as this seems, what sort of technology could achieve this? What would it actually take to reach the speed of light and to perhaps even surpass it? Upon first inspections, the energy requirements are vast, far in excess of what current technology could attain or hope to obtain in the near future. But on further inspection, work recently released by myself and a talented collaborator indicate that this manipulation of the extra dimension could indeed be tested at energies accessible at the Large Hadron Collider, a large particle accelerator in Europe that is due to begin experiments in October of 2009. Of course, testing an idea and constructing a revolutionary propulsion system are two very different things. But what is exciting is that finally, within the known laws of physics, there may be a mechanism that would allow for us to build this superluminal spacecraft. When studying and when exploring exotic possibilities in physics, it's very important to adopt a scientific rationality, not to jump the gun, so to speak, regardless of how exciting an idea might seem. It is important to any subject uh, to uh, submit it to scrutiny and investigation and rigor that has been chiseled and perfected over the centuries. And it's also important to maintain an open mind, to accept the fact that we do not yet know everything and that the universe is full of surprises just waiting to be discovered. A warp drive might be just around the corner, it might be decades away or even millennia, but it's my belief my conviction that it is in the benefit of the human race to investigate the science and the technology that may one day allow us to engage in exploration of an interstellar nature and to openly maintain an open mind and to the many wonders of nature that are slowly being revealed to us. Of the many variables, there is one certainty we do not strive to push back the boundaries of modern science and take occasional risks in the name of progress. We chance becoming a stagnant civilization, forever bound by the cradle that is the Earth.